On the popular video site YouTube, there exist countless videos called Let's Play, where socially maladjusted individuals talk over footage of themselves playing video games for money. Somewhere in Ohio, one such Let's Player and his wife decide to continue the practice with varying degrees of success on a licensed game for a TV series way outside the typical demographic for this type of video. These are their stories. Welcome to Law & Order Legacies, Episode 1. This is a new series that uh, we're going to do because Blasto isn't really working out too well as you... I still want to finish it! It's just going to take me a minute. So we'll just put Blasto on the back burner and move on to another uh, detective game because I guess it's a thing that we're doing now. I so hope... I really hope this isn't as horrible as fucking NCIS. But yeah, so... I don't think I can do another NCIS. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this is, this is made by Telltale Games, the same guys who did the, uh, the truly excellent Walking Dead game and The Wolf Among Us, among other great, uh, point clear adventure games, so I'm hoping that they do the same thing to Law and Order, to Law and Order Legacies. I guess it's like a compilation of all your favorite Law and Order characters all come together in one. We're Stabler! The Stabler is nowhere to be seen. Well, none of these are my favorite, besides we, Mariska. You know, we got Benson, we got, uh, Briscoe, you know. Like Briscoe. Uh, she, she's a chief from like later season of Law and Order, but I don't know who these two guys are. So hopefully, with our combined uh, know-how of Law and Order, we can figure this out. So uh, let's go ahead and no, get this she's started. The chief of, is it the original Law and Order? She's the chief. Yeah. So this is episode one. There are seven cases: revenge, home to roost, killer smart, nobody's child, ear witness, uh, side effects. And resolution. Ooh. That doesn't look very good. Well, uh, let's go ahead and get things started in the very first episode. Revenge. You ready for this? It's gonna get started as soon as we go. Uh, okay, ready? Uh, you ready? Get hyped! Uh, uh, get hyped! Bottle Legacies! Sure! Let's go! Do it. In the criminal justice system, yeah. the people are represented by two separate yet equally important groups the police who investigate crime and the district attorneys who prosecute the offenders. These are their stories. <gasps> hey. Say, where's the fucking noise? Sorry if the quality is not the best. My computer isn't a spring chicken anymore, as you so to speak. She's gonna die. Or she's gonna find the body. That too. Oh, oh shit! Oh dear me. Dead maid! Welcome back to New York, Ray. Ray Curtis from the 27. Oh yeah, Homicide. that guy. This is my okay. case. Mine too, now. Olivia Benson, SVU. SVU? Yeah, I got a call the victim showed signs of sexual assault. <laughs> Your lieutenant said you guys were a little short-handed and my partner is on leave. So I'm here to assist. Yeah. Department. I'm glad they hired all the Nobody voice actors more back. Cops. Nobody wants sure. more tax. Yeah. And now we're down one more taxpayer. I mean, she sort of sounds she? like her, but she's, she's, she's talking too fast for her. Judging from the I gotta uniform, say, though, the cutscenes are already staff. miles better uh, than NCIS. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hours yeah. Ago. I guess someone didn't like the mint on their pillow. <laughs> it definitely reminds me of the Wolf Among Us. Yeah, it's got that feeling. Yeah. They go, they go ahead and uh, give, give us the uh, opening to Law & Order. That's, that's very nice to see. Alright. Not using the actors' names, of course, but the characters' names. Right. For example, it's Abby Carmichael and uh, Michael Cutter. There you go, Jack there McCoy! That's, that's my boy right there! <laughs> Jack McCoy. He's getting worried there for he's got a, a second. He's got a terrible track record, but oh, yeah, he's fine. So oh, I, I guess we're starting. Soy Teresa Restrepo. Restrepo. Is that Colombian? Yes. No, he means know. a staple. The neighbors across the hall when I was growing up, they made the best patacones. I get hungry just remembering. I need to ask you a few questions. You okay to He's going way too yes. fast. Believe it or not, I've seen worse. You've seen worse, eh? Okay. Well, let's ask a few questions. Let's ID the victim. Let's start with an easy one. Can you <coughs> tell me the victim's name? Maybe. I... It's... It's hard to remember. So many girls working here. Why is it every Everybody time always going and recording? going. I just I learned to read sneezing. the name tags like know. everyone else. So, well, didn't really try. know the, For me? the girl's name. Sure, you got nice Probably eyes. Knew or uh, something. Let's see. Uh, it wasn't Latina. It was. Uh, ah, it was Rachel, I think. Rachel. Oh. 
I believe her. Do you, do you, yeah, I believe her. I don't have any reason to doubt her. I got a gold star! That's silver. <laughs> I believe the maid! Alright. So I can get a total of two stars in this? Okay, okay. It's kind of like L.A. Noir. You can earn bonus stars I've by never being a, that, so. You can earn bonus stars by being a diligent investigator. Well, all right. Okie dokie. Can I back it up with evidence? Uh, Ben's coming in and acting like you're in a branch truck. You're in a taxi branch truck. Uh, I would go with the name tag saying Rachel. Because, well, she worked here. So it makes sense. Woo! Yeah! I am a genius detective. Ace cop. Good, because I wasn't paying attention. So we know Teresa's telling the truth. Okay, easy enough. Easy enough. Sure, sure. I need to consult the transcript before I make my decision. Connell appeared in the corner and the transcript was available. Okay. Great. Thanks, Teresa. We can talk to Connell and I witness to talk more. They reveal it. Okay, so let's talk to more witnesses then. Has anybody else seen anything? Uh. Suspicious people. Yes, yeah, let's, let's see if see we can. Anyone suspicious speak hanging around lately? Like, yeah, the hotel is full of them. Lots of old businessmen always staring at you. <laughs> okay. I've been there, How sister. <laughs> interested in Rachel? No, I I don't think so. She didn't even have a boyfriend. Probably involved in something. Statements like these will come in handy later. Well, maybe I can get in with Rachel then. Wait, she's dead, isn't she? Never. Yeah. Hmm. Never mind then. All right, let's talk about her work history. We've got How to go through all she these then. Here? No say, um, she was pretty new. What's that mean, no say? Last month, maybe? She have any trouble with anyone? Trouble? No, not her. She was nice, you know? Quiet, polite. Actually... She was, she was quite... No. What? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. What were you gonna say? Well, she just never really seemed like one of us, you know? Like, like she had something else going on. Yeah, the cutscenes are already much better because I don't have to keep my hand on the X button to make sure phone. that I get the right thing. Alright, new topic. The phone. You say she liked to use her phone. Oh, come on, talk about the what? what? You think she's probably shitty? It's New York money. What, like John's? Are you asking? Did I think she was a whore detective? <laughs> I, I don't think, think so. so. I know but, so. Uh, who knows? It would explain a lot. <laughs> Anything else about the phone? She. I don't know if she was a whore, but she probably was. She also did some weird stuff. She took. Pictures of the rooms and and even some. She's guests. involved in something shady, I bet you. I actually thought she might be a cop. Where would the phone be now? Probably nearby. She always kept it close. Maybe. One last thing, Teresa. It would help us if we knew Maybe the last place Rachel was. Smuggler. Do you know what she would have been cleaning? Maybe something like That's that. That's the weird thing. I'm gonna go Today with you. Today was her day off. She shouldn't even be here. So what was she doing all dressed up for work? You're the detective. You figured it out, Guapo. So I'm a detective, I gotta do it. Okay, so. See, we didn't even talk about the weather. The weather was useless. Yeah! No red herrings. Everything is totally legit so far. Wow. They Woo! Actually, wow, they actually. Red herrings are actually right. a part of the game. Right, that's pretty freaking awesome, actually. In a Law and Order game, you can actually find red herrings. Wow, that's great. Well, let's keep it Explain going. Explain what then. a red herring is hey, to the audience for the people who don't know. Seeing a lot of across her throat. That looks Not convincing. finger marks. Or like a pipe or a cane. No sign of a. All right, let's look at some dead bodies. While you were busy being trained, I wrote down a couple of things to keep an eye out for. Her Her ID. You're so happy about this planner or notepad, and of course, we always know. Yeah, we always knew uh, Olivia Benson as a jovial and uh, carefree character. You know, I mentioned that might be important. Always smiling whenever she's around a crime scene. Right. Yeah. Okay, we got evidence. Reminds me of pieces of evidence. She just talks like way for. too fast for Olivia. Yeah, it's just going way too fast. I don't know. If, I think that's like the director's fault. All right, so we're gonna uh, cell okay. phone we'll DNA. Get, uh, victimized ID. That's what we got to find. So, okay. So we're gonna mm, look, look on her purse. So, yeah, the idea is we look around and check out the crime scene. And, okay. Okay. Draw a circle around it? Draw a circle, wow. Like that? What the fuck? 
I right. think it's just showing you. Which okay! Oh. It's not actually good. Slip on that. Aha. Uh -huh. Sure. Look, her cell phone is right there. How many guesses does it take me to find all the evidence? Okay, okay. Okay, now we gotta actually think it seems. Okay, good. We got our cell phone. So I can't just click everything, it seems. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Um, her hand. Yeah, I wanna... Probably be right there. I'll look the first. Rachel Trevino, 27 years old. Yeah, I'm another member of the 27 Club. How tragic. Over in the East Village, if I remember right. Alright. And... What? No. I want to look at her. Maybe it's this hand. Yes. Broken fingernail. She scratched him up pretty bad, I bet. Well, look at one hand. If you look at two, at, at both hands, that's way too much. get a swap for DNA. No. Okay, so that's the DNA. Now we gotta find... Her notebook. Her notebook. Her purse. Susan. This could be Rachel's purse. It's not coach, but not cheap either. Someone was taking care of her bills. Mm-hmm. Aha! I found that shit. This is like Just way better. Than notes. I'm having fun. I'm applying what? myself. It's like an actual goddamn game. Oh, shit. Oh! Promotion! 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 Hey! Yeah! I'm the best detective in the world, She's motherfucker. Got a couple of voicemails. Let me see. Yep. Sounds like she was meeting somebody here. Okay. This is evidence. Let's get back to the. Can we hear the voicemail, or are we just gonna take? Why not just for listen it? to him now? Yeah. I better. Do we ever hear it in, in the show? Hey, wow! They actually explained that to me. Thanks, get game. My murder merit badge. I had a question oh, and answer it for me. It's like, why can't I listen to it right now? It's like, well, I'm just gonna follow procedure. Okay, it's a bullshit explanation, but I'll take it. Right. Morning, Lenny. Please tell me we got Lenny! a Central Park case. Oh, sure. If you count uh, nothing, not a bupkis. It's been six weeks. The murder weapon is yeah, probably Briscoe's at my the favorite bottom of the, the original law and order. I tell you what, I think we're stalled out. Yeah. I hate loose ends, Lenny. Tell me about it. At my age, I gotta tie him up as fast as I can. Yeah, he died when Ray the actor Curtis, actually died. As I live and breathe back in my precinct after all these years. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a stereotypical black California person. person. Sunshine. My girl's got worried if I wasn't solving murders, sure she I might start committing like them. Don't remember her having that much Benson? sass, yeah. I did. She's good. Definitely easier on the eyes than Lenny Briscoe. Yeah, but she's made of steel. Don't cross her right. She's the third person. Of it. Welcome back. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, yes, crack it. Hey, I was gonna she take was this time to see you. She was talking about what Benson. Oh. What's wrong? <laughs> the voicemails, they're all gone. Someone Don't mess with any woman in a dick wolf series. I mean, wasn't seriously. Our victim. <laughs> Looks like her carrier is Mercury Wireless. <laughs> Pete Shanahan down in fraud told me they've had some problems with security recently. Well, I guess we're going to Mercury Telstar Wireless. Mercury Wireless Company policy is pretty clear. I can talk to you up to a certain point, but if we go over, I have to involve corporate counsel. Oh, no. They've instructed me to answer your questions and give you access to any relevant data. Understood. Thanks for your time. Sure. Okay. Uh, let's talk about deleting voicemails first. Could someone delete voicemails off a phone remotely? I do that all the time. Sure. That's a feature we offer. How would they do it? Easy. You just need to have the account PIN number, just like your bank ATM. Could Rachel have deleted the voicemails remotely? Sure. No! The fuck you mean no? She totally could. St a strike. What? I will what? I will fail the investigation. Oh man, this game is uh -oh. not, This game's not fucking around. I don't believe you. Why would I lie about something like that? Alright. Annoying drop calls it. Does the Mercury wireless network cover most of the city? Absolutely. We're very proud of it. No drop calls, even in the tunnels. Uh, I'm sort of thinking of switching over. Great. You're gonna ask me, Where is it? Can, can you drop calls in the tunnels? Distracted. I can sign you up today, and I can get you a special policeman's discount. Save I'll give you that and a percent discount. Wow. Can we make the deal today? I found a red herring. Whatever that means. 
Uh, okay, who could access? Who had access to Rachel Trevino's voicemails? Um, according to our account record, only Ms. Trevino. There's no one else listed here. The only other persons with authorized access are myself, our customer representative team, and a few independent technical contractors. Uh, huh. Is he lying? I don't know. Why would, why would he lie? Yeah. What, what reason would he have to lie? Uh, what reason would he would he not have to lie? What hard evidence could support his truthfulness? I'm glad there's no time limit. That would just stress me out. Right. Some previous statesmen have been true. That was that's not hard evidence though. That's here's that. I could examine the account list you just just quoted. Sure. Yeah. Good job, detective. What about illegal access? Hacking into the account? Hard to say, because that'd be illegal. That'd be illegal. I don't want to do anything illegal. Illegal access. So if no one at Mercury did this, could someone have hacked into the account? We, we got literature on working on the deal right system. now. So no recent problems with break-ins or hacking? Our security is very good, Detective. You didn't answer her question. No hacking at all. None. We've never had a single security breach. He's lying. Do we believe him? Not the slightest. I don't... Correct! Not how he was talking, I can tell. Who said the reports of... Uh... Mm. Wasn't that Lenny? Did Lenny say that? No, he didn't say that. Sorry, this level. Well, we didn't want this to go public, but yes, we are aware of... Shit, some... we gotta pay attention now. What happened exactly? Attacks on the customer data. Pin numbers being stolen, Man, that sort of thing. this is intense. Loving this. Who the fuck? Said that though. He was talking to We're going to need to Doesn't check matter. all activity on the phone every weekend. This isn't Big Brother, despite what you might think. We do track calls, text messages, and data downloads, but not every single interaction. Really? You sure about that? Well, there are other records, but those are internal. Come on, rough and restricted. Up a bit. I'm not authorized to show you those. Hmm. Is he authorized? Yeah. Is he? I mean, yeah, he just said he could show his data. But was this about corporal uh, policy or whatever? Whatever. Yeah. How do I know he's authorized? Because police must be house to into any two. Okay. Council instructed him to answer verbal questions. Verbal questions are all, release all relevant records. He already has access to the key account. Stop being a wuss. <laughs> oh man. Shit, I don't know what it is. It's either one of these two. Council already authorized him to release all the Yeah! Oh! Cough it up, bitch! Council already authorized you to show us any relevant records. How about it, Mr. Gray? Oh. Motherfucking loser! There's That's justice to do, man. We have five out of five We prefer not oh, yeah. to personal customer records. It can project a negative corporate image. It would be a complete invasion of our customers' privacy. You guys need a warrant. Okay, fine. We'll challenge him on this. Yeah, we'll go ahead. Because if he doesn't get a wuss out, that's going to add probably a few more hours to the investigation. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was correct, Justin. Yeah. We got six out of five stars. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, threaten to get a legal warrant and expose the secret data being kept on customers in court. Yes. Yeah, because you don't threaten them, you don't no, bribe right. them, you don't uh, write for promises you can't keep, so you throw the book at them. Right. Yeah! Throw the book at it. Yeah! Oh yeah, seven out of five stars. Then we can search your restricted records and it all goes public at trial. How do you think your customers will like to find out do you think so, information huh? about them? Oh my god. Uh, all right. All right. I'll look it up. We're conducting a murder investigation. Oh, letterboxes. We're getting serious We need to know what happened to those voicemails, and we need to know now. Sure, we can go get a warrant if that makes you feel better. But by that time, more of your customers might end up dead, like Rachel Trevino. That makes I feel like we could have played this card first. The whole one of your customers is dead right. shtick. There's no right. That probably make it like, oh, oh my goodness, hold up. Honestly, someone modified her account about two weeks ago. Someone modified her Ooh. account. 
This is embarrassing, but it was one of our own contractors. He's a bit of a hacker. He could have accessed her information. He did not have company permission to do this. But why? He's a strange guy, detective. Very intense. Tom his Newberry. Name is Tom That's a Newberry. Name, Here's right. his contact number. One thing, you might not want to call too good for an old Barry. Oh, why not? <laughs> Tom knows how to crack caller ID. He always knows who's calling and from where. Thanks how do you crack tip. caller ID? Yeah, oh, man. Fuck yeah. Doing great.